In today's video, I kind of wanted to break down how to install mods for Cyberpunk, or I guess in a way, uh, like an introduction to 2.0 Cyberpunk modding. It might sound very confusing and complicated, but to be honest with you, it's really not. And I think that's kind of the whole point of this video. Whereas beforehand, I made individual uh, videos on how to install Cyber Engine tweaks, how to install uh, native UI, all of this stuff, um, I thought it'd make sense just to combine everything into one and also to spend a little bit of time explaining how things work and um, you know some kind of little bits of tips and trivia. So first and foremost, pretty much all cyberpunk modding is just dragging and dropping. There are options to use uh, say like Vortex on um, the Nexus mod manager, but to be honest with you, it's just not that complicated. Cyberpunk is actually so incredibly easy. I, I genuinely don't understand how it's this straightforward. Nexus mods is really good and you do need to make an account. If you were to click on mods at the top here, you can also go new, trending, most endorsed, top files, categories, blah, blah, blah. The best way to get into cyberpunk modding is to start off with the top files. These are basically the most popular mods for the game uh, since its release basically three years ago. There are a few things to consider with this uh, which we'll get to in a second. Like for example, if a mod has not been updated, if a mod isn't compatible with the 2.0 update, then that's something which you will need to look out for. But say for example, if I wanted to install the immersive first person mod, first of all, I wanna make sure that this is actually compatible with update 2.0. You can see it was originally uploaded on the 27th of May, 2021, and it was last updated on the 22nd of June, 2023 so obviously we know 2.0 came out uh well last month actually september so there's a good chance that this might cause some problems if we were to go ahead and install this the easiest way to find out what's going on with this is to click on the little posts tab right about here and then if you scroll down uh, usually there's a post from the mod creator like for example this guy is saying 2.0 update the mod works with minor issues i'll be looking into them soon so now that we know that this will work potentially you know mostly work we can go ahead and click on the manual download button right about here now this is important whenever you go to download mods for cyberpunk it will always bring up uh, if required additional files that also need to be installed for the selected mod to basically work properly so for example the immersive first person mod needs cyber engine tweaks in order to uh, fully work so you can go ahead and click on cyber engine tweaks so if we click on uh, manual download again and then always click on slow download unless you're paying for nexus mods but to be honest i don't think many people are doing that as you can see this will start to uh, download as a zipped file so like with anything you're gonna need 7-zip you're gonna need WinRAR anyway once you've downloaded uh, Cyber Engine Tweaks for example you can go ahead and show it in your folder now a lot of people like to extract it you know you can export all of the contents you can extract it to the folder to be honest with you with cyberpunk modding I wouldn't really worry about it because all you're doing is opening this folder and taking this bin right about here and then just dragging it into your cyberpunk 2077 directory sometimes it will come up saying the destination has 19 files with the same names uh, this is coming up because i already have cyber engine tweaks installed but if you have never installed it before then just replace the files so now that we have installed cyber engine tweaks we can go ahead and download the immersive first person mod again doing the same thing going on our slow download and waiting for our ever slow download to begin and that was actually pretty quick so exact same process as before show in folder don't need to extract it just open it as a zip file there's your little bin folder take that into your cyberpunk directory and just drag it and drop it you can see there because i've never had this installed it didn't come up saying do you want to replace this do you want to replace that because it doesn't doesn't need to happen and really other than that that is the kind of uh gist to going around and modding cyberpunk 2077 so really that's about all i have to say for this video basically go through find any mods which you like 
and uh, ensure that every other supporting mod is installed alongside it and of course also make sure that it was last updated uh, at least with the 2.0 update you know so around what end of september anyway that's the basic gist of things um, i hope it helped and uh cheers for watching guys